Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, square and this uh, green triangle put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 4 centimeter square whereas the area for this uh, red square is 64 centimeter square and moreover this uh, horizontal uh, distance uh, is uh, 20 centimeter and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on these uh, two squares and now we are going to calculate the side lengths uh, of uh, these uh, given squares and now let's focus on this uh, blue square first and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case our area has been given to us uh, as 4 centimeter square so therefore I can write this thing uh, area 4 is going to be s uh, square let's take the square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our s side length is going to be positive 2 centimeter so therefore the side length uh, of this uh, square turns out to be 2 centimeter across the board and now let's focus on this uh, red uh, square whose area has been given to us as a 64 centimeter square so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, 64 equal to s square let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our uh, side length s turns out to be 8 uh, centimeter so therefore the side length of this uh, red square turns out to be 8 centimeter across the board and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole length is 20 centimeter and these individual lengths are 2 and 8 centimeters so therefore the side length of this green triangle is going to be simply 20 minus 2 and minus 8 is going to give us 10 centimeter so thus the side length of this green triangle turns out to be 10 centimeter and here's our next step let's go ahead and ignore these blue and red squares as you can see in this next diagram and here I have labeled this green triangle as ABC whose this side length is 10 centimeter just like uh, over here this uh, AD length uh, is same as uh, this uh, blue squares uh, side length and likewise uh, this uh, BE length uh, same as uh, this uh, red squares uh, side length and now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and we can see the base of this uh, green triangle uh, is uh, 10 centimeter so therefore our only task is uh, to find the height uh, of this uh, green uh, triangle so therefore I have drawn uh, this uh, perpendicular FC as you can see over here let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, height uh, as uh, lowercase h and now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, height uh, h and now we can see that this uh, smaller right triangle uh, afc is uh, similar to this uh, larger right triangle uh, abe according to angle angle similarity theorem since uh, this is their common angle and these are uh, 90 degrees uh, angles so therefore we are going to have a proportion so the ratio of uh, af uh, and fc let me go and write down uh, af uh, divided by fc is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, a b and uh, b e and now let's assume that this uh, af uh, length is uh, 
lower case uh, a and we know that this uh, whole length uh, a b is uh, 10 so therefore uh, this uh, f b length is going to be simply 10 minus a so i can write uh, 10 minus a over here and now we can see that our this uh, a f length uh, is uh, lower case a so i'm going to replace this by lower case a our f c length uh, is our height uh, h our this uh, a b length is uh, 10 and our b e length is uh, 8 so therefore i can write a divided by h equals to 10 divided by 8 and now we can see 10 and 8 uh, reduced to 5 divided by 4 let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore we got uh, 4 times a equal to 5 times uh, h let me call this our equation number 1 and here's our next step let's focus on uh, these two right triangles triangle uh, bfc this triangle and this larger triangle uh, bad are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem as we can see that this angle is in common between them and this is their 90 degree angle so therefore we are going to have a proportion so therefore we're going to have a ratio of uh, f b and uh, f c that is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, a b and uh, a d as you can see over here and now let's make an observation we can see our fb length uh, is uh, 10 uh, minus uh, a our fc length is uh, lowercase h height a b length uh, is uh, 10 and uh, a d length is uh, 2 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced all uh, these uh, values and now we can see 10 divided by 2 could be written as uh, 5 divided by 1 let me go ahead and uh, cross uh, multiply so therefore we are going to have a 10 minus uh, a equals to 5 uh, times h let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2 and here we are ended up with these uh, two equations and now let's go ahead and compare these uh, two equations we can see the right hand uh, sides are same so we can equate the left hand side as well so therefore we can write uh, 4a equals to 10 uh, minus a let's go ahead and move a on the left hand side let's combine these uh, like terms so we got 5a equals to 10 let's go ahead and divide both side by 5 so therefore our uh, a value turns out to be 2 and here's our next step let's go ahead and substitute uh, this a equals to 2 value in this equation 1 so therefore we are going to have 4 times 2 equal to 5 times h so therefore we are going to have 8 equal to 5 times h let's divide both sides by 5 so therefore our h height value turns out to be 8 divided by 5 centimeter and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case our base is uh, 10 and our height uh, h is uh, 8 divided by 5 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be a half times the uh, base is 10 times our height is 8 uh, divided by 5 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side our area turns out to be 8 uh, centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, green triangle uh, turns out to be 8 uh, centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye